the awkwardness of award shows are something I believe to be fascinating and strange for us all, or at least with what we've seen over the years. Although the concept of awarding people based on their hard work and accomplishments sort of makes sense. So that's why I'm going to be ranking all the award shows and ceremonies based on their cringiness and awkward. The most cringy and awkward being in D tier, and the ones that are the most entertaining, and the ones with just the best vibes being in S tier. First up we have the Oscars, also known as the award show no one really watches. I can in fact say that the only reason I watch it is because I'm a massive film fan and very passionate about movies and TV shows. The reason I only know people don't watch it is because I brought it up to a friend when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock and he said the only reason he watched it was after seeing the slap because he didn't even know it was on. So he watched a playback of it pretty much. That slap was so shocking it broke record breaking numbers. The most viewed in 24 hours on YouTube. But now it's been broken by another video, I can't remember what it was. It was also weird to the point where I genuinely thought it was fake. But then I saw Lupita Nyong'o's face and I thought, oh my god, this motherfucker was being legit. There was also a moment where Seth MacFarlane hosted the Oscars and sung a song listing just about every single woman in the industry who went naked for a role. It was just so funny, not just because of the dance or the song itself, but some of the faces that some of the women made were just trying so hard not to print. They were so mad, you could just tell they were trying to hold it together, bro. Super strange event, man. It definitely has its moments. It's gonna be a B tier for me though. It's pretty vanilla except for those couple of moments that I mentioned before. Plus the monologues, they're okay. They're just playing it a bit safe, that's all. The Golden Globes, an event I see as the Dark Horse events. The Oscars' counterpart. With Ricky Gervais hosting, he did an absolutely fantastic job. And he was funny as hell. And comedic timing, pretty on point. However, recently the Globes just held one of the weirdest moments ever. I swear I have this feeling of annoyance for like everyone and sadness for Tay Tay. I mean, this poor motherfucker can't catch a goddamn break. <laughs> the big difference between the Golden Globes and the NFL, on the Golden Globes, we have fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift. I swear. I mean, yeah, her face is all over the NFL Jumbotron every fucking 50 milliseconds. But like, how the fuck is that even her fault? Like, yeah, her fans are annoying. It's not even something that she has control over or is in her power. Not to mention Joe Coy was put in like the weirdest positions ever. I mean, how the fuck do you prepare for something in 10 bloody days? You can literally just go on Twitter and it's literally either very left-wing people, feminists, or Taylor Swift fans. Like they're all thick as pig shit. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that they're pretty much all astrology girls, but Joe Coy is a comedian. It's his job to shit on everyone, I swear. How can he even be mad at those people? Oh, it was an S-tier event for me, man. It was an S-tier event. The recent events just ruined it, now it's an absolute shambles. So yeah, it's gonna be a B tier for me. The Olympics. The Olympic torch has been a tradition spanning decades and even being continued to this day, which has been led to the most retarded fucking moments of people slipping over and dropping it. One guy stole a torch, this torch didn't even light up. Then there was like a meme where Mr. Bean was there. It's also an event that represents different nations and sports, culminating history and possesses extreme athleticism. The Olympics was only cancelled for one year, I think. It's definitely an event worth commemorating and appreciating. Even Muhammad Ali lit the place on fire. No cringe, no problems. It's gonna have to be an S tier for me. Right there, baby. The Grammy. The shit show in 2017 is literally the reason I stopped watching. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Travis Scott incident where Cardi B won Album of the Year. <laughs> Something that still haunts me to this day, I'm not gonna lie. I honestly think that the Grammys is just a complete fucking joke. Just look at BTS's face when they lost to Doji Cat. I mean, yeah, they're nice and didn't say anything, but they're fucking Korean, bro. When have you ever heard a Korean talk shit? They don't. I can say, though, for a fact that on behalf of Koreans, they are mad. However, there were some fantastic moments where Tupac Shakur brought out ACDC and shocked the people. We need to shock the people. Let's not forget the Kanye moment where he I won Album we'll of the know. Year and left everybody speechless and gave arguably the best speech of all time. Now you might be thinking, well, what about MLK Jr. and I had a dream? I might be colored, but I give less fucks than a virgin when it comes to that speech. It used to be fucking outstanding, but now it's trash, and like Eminem said, everyone gets stiff and robbed every year. Not cringe or awkward, it's just straight up shit. I'm just gonna put this in B tier. And Met Gala is by far the weirdest and most unusual show ever. Which is saying something, because I have some weird ass events on this list. And there are some fucking weird ass events. I don't even know what the purpose of it even is. And it's supposed to portray some sort of fashion culture, but only for rich and famous people. And if it's supposed to show off fashion, then why can't anyone else wear it? 
It feels like some ego-stroking shit show. I mean, Jared Leto wore a literal cat costume. Lil Nas X went dressed as a goddamn invisibility cloak from Harry Potter, and Rihanna wore a pizza. This event couldn't be any more annoying or any more cringe. D tier. And lastly, the game of the award you forgot about, but I just made you remember. Making your face look at this video the way you remember goddamn 2000s nostalgia. Now, the Game Awards, while full of awkward and cringy moments, is still kind of the highlight of the year for me. Like, I actually kind of like it. From one cringe moment to another, it's still engaging. Full of moments such as the Bill Clinton kid walking on stage, to inviting on old celebrities like Al Pacino who can't even read the bloody prompter without his fucking reading glasses. I, 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 I'm, it's hard for me to see the teleprompter. However, it's a time that celebrates both prolific games across the year and gives you happiness, an existential crisis, and crippling AIDS as well. I just love gaming and games and what the events have to offer. I just love everything about the Game Awards. It's just something I'm interested in. I just like seeing people get what they deserve and get the recognition they deserve for putting in hard work. I mean, for example, we had some of the coolest nominations and wins this year, like Baldur's Gate 3, Spider-Man 2, Alan Wake 2, and my personal favorite, Final Fantasy 16, although it wasn't really received well. Unfortunately, I didn't have a Nintendo Switch, so I wasn't able to play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I heard it was pretty good, and some say it was better than Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, so. Uh, for Game of the Awards, I'm gonna put this in A tier. Super cringy, but really enjoyable. And that's it, lastly, for the Game Awards. And if you like the video as well, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, you can check out my next video in the top left as well. Check out all my socials, I'm on TikTok, everything like that basically. I'll see you guys in the next one, I love you guys man. Take it easy, see you next time you bloody legend.